Lincoln J reporting for Rebel News for the first time here in the city of Iqaluit. Now I must say it is absolutely beautiful here. It is by far the most remote community I have been to in my entire life. Now I made the trip from Toronto to Iqaluit to show you guys the other side of the story on some very important topics happening here in the far north of Canada. Now for our international viewers who might not be aware, Iqaluit is a city in the territory of Nunavut. It is the only city located in this entire territory. Just to put it into perspective how remote Nunavut truly is, it is twice the size of Ontario with its one and only city of Iqaluit having a population of just over 7,400 people. Due to harsh climatic conditions, the population here remains low and job opportunities are simply hard to come by. Over the next few days, I'm going to be investigating a few different topics here in Nunavut, including the termination of over 1,100 mine workers. I'm going to be looking into a bylaw that is essentially going to remove churches from tax exemptions. And I'm also curious to see how the city of Iqaluit, which is completely run on fossil fuels, is going to transition into the Trudeau government's 2035 net zero emissions agenda. We're going to try to talk to some locals over the next few days get some different opinions if you guys appreciate the true honest independent journalism we're providing you can consider donating to help cover the costs of this trip at rebelfieldreports.com thanks so much for your support guys thanks so much for watching guys if you want to check out all of my coverage here in Nunavut you can visit rebelfieldreports.com if you appreciate the honest, independent journalism that we are providing, you can consider making a donation through that same website. Thanks so much, guys.